So I'm still struggling with it. Sometimes a good way to do this is to take the nut and put it on needle nose pliers. Okay, uh, we got it. Tighten down. Also want us to uh, put this uh, mount this acrylic plate in here with these screws as well. So that's pretty good solid mounting of the servo motor. Guy spinning around, tighten him down a little bit. More, there we go. Okay, so in the manual they show the servo motor with yellow, black, and red wires. Um, this servo motor happens to have brown, red, and orange. And so the brown corresponds to the black, the red to the red, and the orange to the yellow. So what they're showing us to do is to wire up the servo. So we're, excuse me, feed it through this hole. And we're wiring this up to the GPIO3. And so remember, brown is black or ground, red is power, and orange or yellow is the signal. So all we have to do is slide it right on top of that number three connector with the orange wire connected to the S pin. And uh, now our servo motor is wired. Okay, now we are starting to wire things up. Most of the mounting and construction is done, so let's go ahead and clean up our work surface. Uh, let's get our big powerful screwdriver tools kind of out of the way so that we can focus on wiring and let's uh, clean up some of these leftover pieces here, these tiny screws and things. Our Allen wrench and uh, get our work surface ready for wiring.